Lawam Shalawam. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Chachodash, Yahweh, which is the only true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his only true name is Yahweh Shai. I'd like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Y Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, pretty much I was watching. Uh, Elder Karataza of GMS Las Vegas. I was watching his lesson. I watched the whole thing, but I just went back in the clip to show this particular individual that's teaching false doctrine. All right, he's teaching false doctrine pretty much, and um, he's teaching that sex is not marriage. All right, now my question to this individual: If sex is not marriage, then what is marriage? And you know probably in his ways he believes marriage is where you go and get on one knee and put a ring on a finger but those customs putting a ring on a person putting a ring on a woman's finger and getting down on one knee that goes back to ancient egypt that's not an israelite custom and uh any when you see a dude that's like this too by the way he has dreads any dude that has dreadlocks and he has a hat on he's clearly uh, he's clearly a false prophet He's a he's a bug out individual. He's a false prophet. All right. And the Lord is going to destroy the Lord is going to destroy this individual. All right. He's clearly going off, you know, he's clearly going off on the scriptures, man. All right. And then he's saying sex is a marriage. So we're going to prove that sex is marriage according to the Bible. All right. Pretty much, you know, uh, so like it. But but pretty much. Um, yeah, he's teaching that. He's teaching that, you know, sex is marriage, basically. So, Salakia, we're going to go on the scriptures and, you know, get get this out, you know, for edification's sake. All right. Now, when you look up, because this is what I just put in. All right. It says, where did putting on rings during marriage come from? Did it come from ancient Egypt? And this is what it said. It said the first wedding ring, the first the first wedding rings can be traced back to the ancient Egyptians. So that's where that stuff come from. Those customs that we do where you get on one knee and you ask a woman to marry you, that stuff goes back to the Hamites. All right, the so-called Africans who are the Egyptians. That's a that's a heathen custom. All right. The way that we get married according to the Bible all right, or according to the actual way of marriage is having sex with a particular individual, all right? Because when a woman is a virgin, all right, and you lie with that woman, according to the Bible, all right, she is your wife and you can't get rid of her. The only way you can get rid of an actual woman, a true divorce, is if she break the laws of statutes and commandments, all right? Such as committing adultery or anything like that. All right. That's the only way you can truly get rid of a woman, according to the Bible. You couldn't just go and get a divorce like you can today. So when you put in where did putting on putting on rings during marriage, where does it come from? It says the, it says the first wedding rings can be traced back to the ancient Egyptians. And Egyptian is a Hamite. All right. Which is a so-called African. It says when they exchange rings made from braided reed it says braided reeds and hemp it says they place these rings on the fourth finger of the left hand right because don't you do that when you get married when you get married they put the you, you put the ring on the woman's finger all right they call it a, a i think they call it a, a, a probably paraphrase i forgot what you call it but it's like a um the marriage finger or something like that it says they placed the rings on the fourth finger of the left hand as they believed that were was a vein. It says vein of love that ran from this finger directly to your heart. So right, wedding wearing wedding rings, it goes back to ancient Egypt. That's not an Israelite custom. Alright. Now a lot of us brothers that have gotten married doing it Esau's way, we didn't know. 
But according to the scriptures, if you lie down with a woman and you take her virginity, she's your wife according to the scriptures. Now, the only way a woman can get divorced is if her husband is deceased. He has to die according to the Bible. So you're stuck. A woman is stuck with that man until he's deceased. But in this place called America, you can go and get a divorce. You can go and get a, get a divorce anytime you want. All right. But that's not according to the Bible. So we proved going into the going into secular history that putting on rings and all of that, the way how we do it today, that's that goes back to ancient Egypt. That's a heathen custom. Now, I'm going to prove to you out of the Bible that sex is marriage, regardless if you believe in it or not. And we can look at some examples. Now, when Isaac was on the camel and he was in the field, Rebecca looked upon Isaac and Isaac took her into his mother's tent and he had sex with her and had it, and that became his wife. So let's prove it. Genesis 24 and 64. It says that Rebecca light up her eyes and when she saw Isaac, she lightened off of the off of the camel. It says verse 65, for she has said unto the servant, what man is this that walketh in the field to meet us? And this is what this is what Rebecca asked the servant of Isaac. All right. And the servant has said, it is my master. It says, therefore, she took a veil and covered herself. Right. She covered herself. Verse 66. And the servant told Isaac all the things that and the servant told Isaac all the things that he had done. And Isaac brought her into his mother's tent and took Rebecca and she became his wife. So if he if you take a woman somewhere privately, clearly they're doing something. There's no way a man it would say in that scripture that he got on one knee and he put a finger, he put a ring on her finger. He, it didn't say anything like that. It said he took her into his mother's tent and she became his wife. So that's marriage according to the Bible. All right. Sex is marriage according to the Bible. And we're going to look at another example. Let's go to Deuteronomy, the 22nd chapter and go to the 28th verse. See, you got to you, you got to you got to look stuff up and read. All right. You Jakes don't don't understand it because you've been westernized in this white man's society. The so-called white man has you Negroes dumbfounded because you're used to being brought up in the ways of this society. Deuteronomy 22 and 28. It says if a man find a damsel and what is a damsel? A damsel is a word that means virgin, a woman that never has sex in her life. She's a virgin. That's a damsel. According to the Bible. Read again, verse 28. It says, Deuteronomy 22, 28. It says, if a man find a damsel that is a virgin, see, it says, which is not betrothed. And that word betrothed means engaged. She doesn't belong to any man. All right. It says, and lie, hold on her. All right. Lie, hold on her and lie with her. It says, and they be found because in the ancient world, it wasn't like how it is today where you could just you go and meet a woman and then you start texting and start talking on the phone every day and then you hook up and go to a mall go to a date and then y'all just start being with each other in y'all relationship no in the ancient world if a man wanted a woman and he just grabbed her and just slept with her that's his woman that's how it was in the ancient world the way that we live in today everything has like its own way of, of meeting people but back in the ancient world you could just grab a woman and just lie with her and she's just, she's your wife but you would have to pay the father money you have to pay the father money. Verse 29, it says, then the man that lie with her shall give unto the damsel's father. Right. So you have to pay the fa you have to pay the father money. If you was lying with a woman that was a damsel that didn't belong to any man and you was to lie with that woman, you have to pay the father money because that's his child. That's how it was in the ancient world. All right. It says, then the man that lie with her shall give unto the damsel's father 50 sacos of silver. So you have to pay the father money. It says, and she shall be his wife because he have humbled her. It says he may not put her away all his days. Right. Because you got a lot of Jake men now that's just sleeping with women and then they ain't be, they don't want to be with them. They just sleep with them. And then after that, they, you never call them again or don't want to be with them. That's totally off. All right. So it's off both ways. All right. That's totally off. You couldn't do that in the ancient world. So if you slept with a woman, you stuck with that woman. The only way you can put that woman off is if that woman was to break the law, statutes and commandments. Like, again, commit adultery. If a woman committed adultery on you, you can do a divorce. But you have to go to the priest. You have to go to the Levite priest 
And the Levite, you have to give the Levite priest a reason why you want to put that woman away. And you could put that woman away, meaning divorce her. All right. So sex is marriage according to the Bible. All right. So this particular individual up here that's saying that sex is not marriage, you completely bugged out and you're going off. All right. You're going off on the scriptures. All right. You're not teaching the truth. All right. This guy is going off. So again, all right. And I'm gonna go back to the video. Double digit numbers. So again, sex is marriage according to the Bible. All right. Again, the way that we do it today, how we get on one knee and put a ring on a woman's finger, those that's a heathen custom. That's not an Israelite custom. The Hamites did that. The Africans, the Egyptians, because an Egyptian is an African. That's all an Egyptian is. It's nothing special about an Egyptian. They a fucking Hamite. All right. And they did homosexuality. They did accept a lot of wicked shit. All right. An Egyptian is a fucking Hamite. That's all they is. All right. There's nothing special about them. All right. So again, at the end of the day, if you are a Jake out there that believes sex is not marriage, you're going off. All right. And again, putting a ring on a woman's finger is not marriage. All right. That's Esau's way because Esau took the, the customs of the heathen nations and made it his custom. He took the customs of, of, of Egypt. He took the customs of of, uh, of Babylonian. All right. The Chaldeans going back to the Philistines. He took all those customs and, and we our people celebrate those customs today. All right. There's so many varieties of different uh, holidays that that this place called America celebrates. And it goes back to an ancient heathen custom. Easter is a heathen custom. That's an Egyptian custom. All right, celebrating Christmas, that's a heathen custom. That's actually wicked because you're worshiping Tammuz, all right, who's actually portrayed as Santa Claus. So all those, all these customs that I can name all goes back to ancient Egypt. It's wicked. So hey, man, Lord one is that's what's edifying. Until next time I say, Shalom.